I want to have today. She got on my nerves so bad. Well, you, you know. So it's this kind of thing, like the platter I'm gonna post later for you that I did yesterday. Oh, you're gonna post it? No, you're <laughs> gonna post it. <laughs> Okay? Party time is on. Why'd you have to tell me that? Oh, <laughs> when I tell you it was so good, I thought I was going to kill myself. <laughs> so today my mom is making a um, fried lobster tail. Uh, no? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fried lobster tail uh, with crawfish etouffee over rice. That'll so satisfy a, both of them, won't it? Why so close? She does this all the time. You, will you walk right up, like, all the way, all the way. Okay, step back. See, see it's a little bit weird today. Like, I can't figure out how to get it low. So that way we cover Mardi Gras. Good morning. Good we morning. We cover Mardi, Mardi hey, Gras Ingrid. and... Ava, we're trying some Louisiana hey, food. Hey, Ingrid. Hey, Katrina. Hey, Nuki. How they doing down there in Louisiana? Hey, Sonetta, William. Hey, I feel it. Okay, so we're doing a little bit of uh, Valentine. Everybody wanted lobster, lobster. Everybody lobster. said they wanted lobster. Lobster, lobster. You know. Do you guys love lobster, love lobster that much? Lobster. I'm not a I big lobster because, fan. I'm not a huge fan of lobster, um, but I think because people always think of lobster as being fancy. special and fancy, mm. and so we're gonna do. Um, Lobster, and of course, we're gonna fry the lobster tail. Yeah, so I think that'll make anything it, fried uh, is good, right? Right, right. Good morning, Liliana. so and um, that way, you know, we get into that. And uh, we're gonna do the crawfish etouffee, and we're doing crawfish from Louisiana. So, crawfish comes from China and from Louisiana, but the oh. Louisiana crawfish, I feel, has more flavor in it. So it's Probably Louisiana, is, is the, and yeah. and the crazy, the crazy thing is, um, is the one is the are the crawfish from China farmed? Probably, right? Probably, but this is the thing that I think is really Good crazy. Morning, everyone, guess who carries Louisiana crawfish? Who? Take Asian. a while, like a the while. Asian market. Well, the Asian market, but oh. no, let's. Think of something big box store. Big box store. Walmart? Walmart! <laughs> Can you believe it? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Those just happened and we my mom is making fried lobster. So we're gonna get busy with cause... crawfish etouffee over rice. Rice. Okay. So <laughs> we are rice. like, hey Brian. So we're gonna rice. go ahead and get started yes. this morning because she has a lot, a lot to do wanted to make some changes get some things going get on youtube get our marketplace open the market a lot accomplished in this the, short yes the marketplace is open everyone has been so supportive last week we had jism on yes Brian. and with his rub and sauce he's from country style and which is a youtube channel great great show youtube and we did um stuff for the super bowl so this week, you know, it's Valentine and you see all these ingredients. Last week, I didn't have anything on the table. So I'm like laid out. And this week, because again, I'm doing a fried lobster uh -oh. tail and I'm doing crawfish etouffee. Merlin's back, back Merlin. on the scene. So, you know, thank our you, buddy. you guys. You know, we got to continue to support our small handcrafted uh, products and that's what I always try to do and I've talked to you about every time about planning your menu so I go through a process to decide what to prepare planning your menu shopping it so plan it shop it write the list before you go prep it this is the prep that way you don't forget any ingredients so this is all the uh, fried lobster tail ingredients. So now here we go on this side for the etouffee. A lot more ingredients are needed for this. There's the Louisiana crawfish. Mm -hmm. And of course, the Holy Trinity, 
celery, green pepper, and onion. I made a little switchy roux. Of course, Delala made a switchy roux. I'm using shallot today. Um, I think it's a little nicer than an onion. Uh, so because I'm doing something special, my ingredients also feed into and read special. So I have shallot and we have our garlic. Crawfish. Uh, this is just a chicken stock. Himalayan salt, black pepper, thyme, dry thyme, bay leaf, oregano, basil, merlin seasoning, onion powder, granulated garlic, and here is our rice. So we're gonna put the rice on first. I'm putting my coffee back. You know I had to have my coffee. The scallions are just for dressing at the end. And I have a little trivia quiz. Now I've given you a hint already. <laughs> I have some scissors. Not your ordinary scissors. So, I got a lot of chefs on here, so they probably know what these are. These shears. Anybody know what these shears are? Look at them. Imagine what you would do with these. So they have multiple. See? Imagine. Blades, what do you do? I guess it's called. Okay. Well, you have it paired with something. So. so. No one. No one. No one. Is key on there? To come. And Ingrid did know. Come on. A little bit of time. Think about it. I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to my rice. Let's Good see morning, if anybody knows. Huh? Okay. Nobody is anybody yet. new. So my okay. mom wants to see if you all know what these are called and what these are for. She, Ingrid said, yes, chef. <laughs> okay. So, so the rice. What are we so doing we're going rice? with rice. Of course, I have one cup of rice. Two cups of water. I'm going to do it on top of the stove today. We have talked about doing rice yes, in the oven and it works in the oven you never have to touch it look at it and I've put it, tried the put oven it in a hot oven that, and huh? let it go all right i'm going to put a little salt in there i'm going to bring that to a boil once that comes up to a boil i'm going to turn it down to a simmer cover it leave it alone leave it alone you got that Okay? <laughs> Leave it alone. All right, here we go. So we have a lot of YouTube subscribers that have come on. Oh, yeah. And um, I want to thank you guys. Um, you guys, um, we have kind of a little intimate, um, intimate family. This is our family, family on our Facebook. Facebook. Our, yeah. yeah. And we kind of just talk and communicate and do our little thing. And I try to give them tips and hints on doing different things. And it's just, you know, a little feedback back and forth and having a good time. So no one has answered. Someone said maybe for a lobster. Uh, are you kidding me? All right. Go what ahead, mom. So here we go. So, this is the little sheer garnish. You hold parsley or scallion and you just snip it. And you see how you get? It cuts it into the smaller pieces. Right? For the multiple because the, I think that's so cute. Hi, so David Sims <laughs> so, says hello from Philadelphia. Hey, Love David. So how much. are you? How's the biz? So, here we go. Let's start uh, our etouffee. I uh, better put some oil in here for my deep fry for my uh, lobster tail. And I know I did not yes, show sir, the lobster sir. yet, and I will show that. And it's just oil. Crisco, vegetable, canola, whatever you want to use. I had Crisco, so that's what I'm using. So the difference is Crisco has to melt down. For you country style folks that have come over, you probably used to Crisco and that's what you like. Okay? 
business is okay. Glad to be here. Great. I hear you. Ingrid said it's hard to find those scissors. So where uh, could someone find them? So here I got them at Cook's Warehouse. Uh, they're not everywhere. And Cook's Warehouse kind of uh, caters to the trade. Mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, Delana and them have shown me so much about this crazy Amazon mess. They probably have them Not on there. They seem to have everything in the world. I've never seen anything like it. Yes. Those so, are herb scissors. Right. So you don't have to cut with regular scissors, I guess, and then chop it up. It no, you don't have you. to cut with a knife. Yeah. <laughs> with a knife. Yeah. With a knife. It does it for you. It does it for you. So, yes. So, last Saturday, we went to YouTube. Um, that was our debut. And so, we had Jism on from Country Style. Ooh, boy. And they have a huge, <laughs> Country Style has a huge following. They have about 80,000 uh, subscribers. Oh, yeah. um, but a number of, way more, I, I don't even know, um, people watch uh, the actual individual episodes. So, some of the episodes have a million views and everything down from there so they joined us um if you have not been over to our youtube channel it's delilah's everyday soul same name but on youtube and go ahead and subscribe so you can get the alerts um over there but yes youtube has been busy 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 so as you see i got a little bit of crisco got on my hand i just rubbed it in my skin so that's kind of like old school how I grew up, right? Got it? Okay, Bridget said Amazon sells the herb scissors. I figured. Mm -hmm. Good morning, I figured Cheryl. as much. Good to see everyone. So I did not have the olive oil out, and now I'm going to start my etouffee, but I'm using olive oil for that. So we have the rice going on the back burner. Okay, my oil my is melting on the front. all of the Crisco for this lobster tail to fry in. Yes. If you're a fan of pork, my mom always says lard is amazing. If you can lard, <laughs> listen, you can find lard, but lard is amazing to fry with. Uh, I just morning, tend to stay away from it because people just, you know, going through it. Because I guess I'm from the uh, Northeast. I might as well say Philly. So that's kind of like Northeast. Um, here in Georgia, they don't have no problem with pork. Here, everything is pork. They barbecuing on the corner and they cooking up. Listen, they, have, they can do things here that we couldn't begin to get away with in Philadelphia. That's true. Not for a second. That's true. You know, they are. Uh, the regulations. We talked about they had set up a, a smoker barbecue grill in the Kentucky Fried time. parking lot and was selling barbecue. I'm just like, well, what, Kentucky Fried ain't selling nothing no more now. They sell barbecue <laughs> in the parking lot. I, they just do. They do things that we could never get away with. Yeah, so, the regulations aren't the same. Yes, right here. no, they are not. No, they are not. So that's going, that's going, that's going. The first thing I'm going to go in, and I don't need all of what I have chopped here. I'm going to do our Holy Trinity. Ingrid said you can find lard everywhere down there. Yes, you can. I can believe that. I can believe that. Because that is how they're doing it here in Georgia. You don't have no problem finding no lard here. So I'm going to go in with some of our, my Sarah onions. Sarah said the same. Yes, that's a southern. It's easy in the My shallots. Oh, yes, the white barbecue. We got them. Brought in Erie and then West Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Welcome, Teresa. So those of you just joining so, us, doing a fried lobster tail yes. with crawfish etouffee over rice. So the onion is the most prominent, okay? And then there's the... About half of the amount of green pepper, and I would say a third of the celery. Bridge is helping everyone out. She said Walmart also sells the shears. Walmart.com. And garlic. Oh yeah, right. Yes. So what are so we don't? I don't want this to brown. I just want it to cook down and get tender. Just a little, a little, no, no color really to it. Just, just let it cook down, and then I'm going to add 
the stock, the seasonings, and cover that and just let that cook down slow. It's all right, it's boiling. I stirred it just to break it up, okay? I'm Thank going you, to Chris, for cover the rice. I'm going to turn it down, you know, because we had this whole thing. Nobody knows how to cook rice, so that's we going on. We got it on. now. We you know got how to it? do it now. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So while my mom is doing this, what are everyone's plans for this Valentine's for, yes. weekend? What are your plans? What are you doing? How are you celebrating? Okay. What are you doing? We want and, to hear from you. And you know, Valentine is for the ladies. Guys, so you know what that means, guys. You better get it getting and start cooking Come something plan. and planning something. Now, I'm giving you a plan, so just follow the plan because Valentine is really for the women. So, what if you're a guy and you can't, you're not really great at cooking? What do you do? This is simple, it's go, simple to you. Go, what can they do? Go on. Go on my Dollars Everyday Soul Facebook, YouTube, watch it over and over and over, and step by step, I'll get you there. Guarantee. You having a problem? Send a little DM me, right? Not for tomorrow. <laughs> no, don't do that for tomorrow. You need is like water. No, no, no. no. No, mm -hmm. you can watch the face. Facebook has all the old episodes, but um, yeah, don't DM. The ladies like might no, no. Get it in time. I'm letting that come up to, and it's starting to come it's up to a simmer. Mm -hmm. So I want that to just cook a little bit, okay? Yeah. The rice has been turned down, but you see the steam escaping it, a little bit, and I'm going to turn my oil down because that oil's getting hot. Now I'm gonna mix my flour cornmeal. It smells so good already. And I'm gonna get my lobster tail marinating, which is my buttermilk and hot sauce and Merlin seasoning. So here is my lobster tail. I've, I've already prepped it. So again, we have to prep. Plan and prep. Plan, shop, and prep. And I will say that over, over, over again because it will help you from running around and, oh, I didn't get this and I didn't get that. So I have skewered this lobster tail to keep it straight in the cooking process. The skewers can be taken out after it's cooked. You so want to bend pull up. them you out, but this will keep up. it from curling on you. Mm -hmm. And they're stuck all the way through, as you see. They're all the way through, okay? Yep. So I've taken the shell off, and I'm going to do a little tea segment. What, would, what do you call that? A tutorial on how to get this lobster tail to this point. All so right? I have a question. Yes. If if I would like lobster and I'm making it for the first time, how do I know um, how to buy like a lobster? Like, what do I look for? Um, I like fresh, so I would go with fresh. Um, lobsters come from different waters and they have different flavors. Um, so you can get a Maine lobster. You can get lobsters out of Florida waters or the Caribbean. Um, and you just want to get it somewhere where you know it's fresh and you know their product is fresh. To me, that's with seafood, period. Mm -hmm. That needs to happen. You know, we talk about buying places that are established. There's no odor. They're clean. That's important with food because you know they are following the sanitation guidelines. So does size matter? Size doesn't matter. It depends on what size you want. Um, so this, are larger ones tougher? No. Okay. No. Mm -mm. And I was going to say, this is a pretty hefty tail. Yeah, I was going to say, that's pretty thick. It's a good old meaty tail. So I put in my buttermilk and my hot sauce. I'm going to put a little bit of Merlin seasoning in here. And then this has a little heat to it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you need to regulate that. 
So a lot of people saying that they're staying home and I'm glad you're staying home. <laughs> um, mainly, you know, weather, but staying home. Some drinking involved. Yeah, drink. Ingrid says she'll put some beads on her porch. Yeah, drinking's Mardi good. Uh, yes, wait yes, a minute, yes. let me make sure I don't want to lose my skewers out of here. So okay, got them. All right, so we've so got that covered up good. I'm going to let that sit, and now I'm going to make my flour mixture. Hey, good morning. While that's going, I'm going to go over here with my seasonings. A couple of little pinches, which is probably pepper. I could put white pepper and red pepper, but because I'm using Merlin seasoning, I'm not putting the white and red pepper in here. Mm -hmm. All right? He has all of that in the seasoning. So Merlin's is in our marketplace. Yes, it is. Um, which is couple babies everyday dash soul dot my shopify dot com. What did she put into the pan, Erica? So that is um the green peppers, the onion, garlic. There is what was your liquid, Mom? I'm sorry. Chicken stock. Chicken stock. I don't think we mentioned that. Yeah. Chicken, Chicken stock, stock and then I all the seasonings. Yep, and all the seasons. And the seasons, it wasn't a whole lot of seasoning. Yeah, a there pinch, was chicken stock. A pinch. Erica, thank you. I would say it was to get a measurement for you. A quarter teaspoon. Somewhere between a quarter and I think a quarter teaspoon is good. So that's that's our coloring going on there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to actually cover this because I want that to cook a little bit. Okay. So, right. Akima, you could substitute if you wanted to just use regular fish um, instead. So, yes, I have made this dish as well for anybody that has a shellfish mm -hmm. allergy. Akima says she does. I have made this dish with Chilean sea bass. Which mm, is kind of meaty. Wonderful. Yeah. So it gives you that kind of flavor, not flavor, but texture of um, it's very buttery, like lobster. Mm -hmm. um, so it works very well. So Chilean sea bass would definitely be another choice that I would recommend for that. All right, now for our flour mixture for our lobster tail. So it is half predominantly cornmeal. Okay. Two to one. So it's one part flour, two parts cornmeal. As you saw, I totally emptied that bowl. The flour bowl is still oh, has. What about some. monkfish? Monkfish would work. Monkfish yeah. would work if you're, you know, if you're a component of monkfish. Mm -hmm. It tastes, it's a good alternative for. Um, you want something with a little bit of meat? Like a little bit fleshy. For fleshy. lobster. Yeah. A lot of people use smoked fish uh, when they don't uh, buy lobster. That is yellow cornmeal. Yes, yellow cornmeal. And Bridget asks, would you recommend fish stock instead of chicken you stock? You can use fish, fish stock. stock. Absolutely. Okay. So this is all kind of to taste. It is because it just gives more flavor than water. Let me get one of my little spoons. Good morning, Colette. I'm going to put a little bit more salt. We did, Raina. We did do a gumbo recipe, a gumbo video. Yes. Yes. Go back and, and so, watch it. So, so and good. it's so good. So good. So good. Good morning, Paul. So good. All right. So I'm going to kick this up. Okay. Time to get frying. Time to drop it. So when we asked what we should make today for... So you see how that's cooking down? Yep. It's looking good. When we asked what we should make for Valentine's, so many people said lobster. 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 So lobster. I was lobster. Kind of surprised. And how many people said lobster? Lobster. Why were you surprised? People love yeah. lobster. So what would you say, Mom, is your, like, 
favorite? Like, if you had to choose. Of what? Like a, a um, for like a special. Dinner? A special oh. dinner. What would you choose? Well, you know, I made dinner last week. It was a tomahawk steak. <laughs> Yeah, but was that because that's what you wanted to do? I'm always loving a steak. <laughs> I am a steak girl. Sandy LeBlanc and I are steak girls now. Uh, oysters, yeah, you know how much I love oysters. Mm -hmm. So that's another one. Okay, Ingrid says lump crab. That's what Jason likes. Lamb chops. I may be in the lamb chop camp. Colette, I might be with you. I love lamb. So, as you see, I am patting this bad boy down to make sure it's well coated. You know, if you wanted to put it in a deep fryer, you could do that. Anything that you're going to get it down in. But these skewers, I'm telling you, will save the day. And so you have to, my mom's talked about this before, like using your hands. Like there are things that you have to kind of use your hands with because you need to get down in the little like crevices of the food. Yeah, you want to make you sure just do it with a, a you got it nice and coated. Okay, Erica, let's All right. see how it turns out. She's going to try it? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, Raina. I, I always love. want you to post pictures. Good. So carry that on over. Carrying it over. And then see my little tester. You see that bubbly when it as the flower drops in? Mm -hmm. That gives you a good visual, right? Denard Denardos. Yeah, Thank on, you for on uh, Ray Sheesh. Street. My brain is gone. Uh you know who loves Denardos? Agina. I was gonna say Stephanie was the one that would take it. Agina. I'm covering this, okay? So why are you covering it? Because I want that heat to stay right in there. Not, not all, oh, let me, I, I'm sorry, because we're going to have oh, yeah, a problem. <laughs> I'm going to set off the lawn. Oh, yeah, and book binders. I forgot about Yeah, book binders is closed. You see what's going on? how fast that cooks up. Already the coloring is changing. And the pure is not. This is a yeah. fast process. Wonderful. Yeah, it doesn't take long to cook at all. No, so that was not at really, all. really quick. Because that oil is hot. Yep. Phillips and the Sheridan on 17th and Race. Yep. All right. So that is getting ready to come out. There you go. Yep, we're good. So you know what I always ask mom? What? About, about the salt. So once it comes out, would you put anything else on it or you leave it alone? Well, it's going to be with Dad too, Faye. Okay. So we're, we're getting there. Yeah, that was about two, three minutes. It long. About a minute and a half maybe on each side. But you have to make sure that the um, grease is hot. That grease has to be hot. You're going 300. Right, Miss Tobin cussing people out for the back. Three, <laughs> 300. Three. I'm putting my crawfish in. You want that 300, uh, 325. Three, 325 is a good heat to fry on. So, Mom, when you, when you got the crawfish mm -hmm. um, and they were frozen... Well, yeah, you just I let thought them about frost yeah. and then made sure there wasn't like a lot of juice or water on them. Mm -hmm. Um, and then you're just adding them in. You didn't do any extra. Nope, prep. I did nothing to the crawfish. Okay. Yeah. The seasoning that's in that we put in the liquid in our stock is what it's cooking mm -hmm. in. So this is our etouffee. Pretty quick and pretty simple. Morning, you Corbin. can add other things into this. Um, you could put some Creole sausage if you wanted to. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, you could also uh, put tomato in it. I tend not to. Some people do. Um, you know, it's what you like. So, Mom, was the shell on or it came just like that? No, it came just like so that. No shell. No shell. Did everything for you. Oh. Everything is done. Okay. Done. So no now, shell. We can check on the rice. And what are we plating? Are we ready already? Yeah. She can't believe it. I can't believe it. This is <laughs> she awesome. can't believe it. We're getting good, guys. She can't believe it. <laughs> so, Mom, how many packs was that um, from Walmart? How many packs? That was you? one pack. One pack. I think they're... Oh, so here, 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 here. That's a good... Look. Cleaned Louisiana crawfish tails. That was 12 ounces. 12 ounces. Okay. So, a little under a pound. That's not bad. Yep, 12 ounces. And it comes in the package. It's fine. You know, and you know me. So, you know, well, where are my glasses? Hey, good morning, Miss Brock. You know, I had to check out all the nutritionals. Good morning, Bria. <laughs> which I don't remember what they were, but I looked at, you know, I always, before I buy anything, guys, I'm going to tell you I am all about the nutritionals, okay? So, I did check the nutritionals. The sodium is 80 milligrams. Oh, so, it's not salty. Not bad. You understand? Uh, also, this is four servings. They say you could get serve four people out of this, which is really like two. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go by what they say, because if you they have on here a recipe, I, I chopped it a little bit of it off. They have a recipe. Um, and there's cause for flour. I don't add flour. I, I put a lot more seasoning in mine. Theirs is just really the Holy Trinity and some fresh parsley, which I'm going to top the dish with. Um, so the nutritionals are very good on this. The protein, um, the sugar is zero, protein is 14. So the thing with all shellfish, the cholesterol Mm -hmm. will be the thing that you have to look at mm -hmm. all the time. That's shellfish. That's oysters, mm -hmm. shrimp, crab. That's shellfish. It's very rich. It's a rich item, what we would call rich food. So, Mom, if, if let's say that it, it's one of our friends that has the shellfish allergy, mm -hmm. and they're not doing the lobster, but they're doing, uh, let's say, the, the Chilean sea bass. The or Chilean sea bass. How should they prepare it? I would sear it? that. No, I would not fry that. I would sear that. I'm going to throw this in the oven so it stays hot. I would sear that. Um, and this is just a warm oven. It's not a, you know, it's not a, so nothing to be on, concerned it's really about. really low. My yeah. mom has it 225. Like 225. It was 225. 225. Yeah. Okay. So you don't want it to cook. You yeah, just I just it. want it to stay warm. Okay. So and, go ahead and talk about And you can always, you know, crack your oven. That kind of, you know. Keep it not going too mm -hmm. deep. Um, so I would, yeah. Oh, we're looking good. See that? See that? Look, yep. look, look, look. The rice <laughs> is about, ooh, how long? 25, 30 minutes? 20, 20 minutes. Okay. So you, I would sear that on top of the stove. That's where this trusty old crepe pan comes in. I would sear that. Uh, it needs to be hot when you lay it no skin i would not have i would make sure the skin is taken off sear it season it sear it and then turn it and put it into a 400 or 450 degree oven okay and let it cook for a pro depending on the thickness uh chilean sea bass can be thick but I don't think it will take more than 10 to 15, 10 to 12 minutes probably, and it will be done. Um, there's definitely an art, Raina, to um, de-shelling crawfish if you're eating it that way. The people from Louisiana. They love it. it. It's, it's a sign. They like, love it. <laughs> but I think about the way blue crabs, like it's nothing we for love me them. to do blue crabs because right. I grew up eating them, and so I can get the shell off it. You know, a couple we of seconds. will sit and eat it and eat it and eat it. Yeah. So no, they love it. So okay, of course, guys, you know me in the cleanup. 
She's going to get everything fresh and clean so she can plate. That's just my thing. I've well, while she's clean doing up. that, we hope that you all have a great Valentine's. Yes. But however that looks for you is something that you want to do. And look how quick that meal was. So this is what planning does for you. Planning keeps you from being flustered. Mm -hmm. <laughs> planning keeps you from being exhausted. So now you don't want to sit down and enjoy your meal. So that's why it's gotcha. so important to plan. You know, we want to jump and run to the store and buy. You got stuff already at home. Utilize what you have and put something together and write everything down before you go so you know what you're doing and plan your meal. Thank you, Colette, for joining us. And then prep. And prep, for those that may prep, be trying to prepare prep. a special meal for tomorrow and you're not quite proficient on cooking, do the parts you can and then source what we call source the other parts. Uh, the lady for knows someone, about <laughs> <laughs> for, from someone that does it well. There are tons of restaurants who um, are following protocols and definitely need the business right now and are doing um, takeout orders, call in advance, order it, pick it up, and then put your meal together. Put your meal together. And make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. We eat with our eyes first, right? Yep. All right, so my mom found, we're gonna talk about the plates. Oh, my antique red plates that I love. I was just polishing them. So, you know, I can't stand a fingerprint. Yes, Mr. Deese. I love good food, but I also like convenience. <laughs> and so I can cook, but sometimes I can go buy. <laughs> <laughs> so our, that smells that's so good. good. So let me look at the uh, consistency. See, so I don't feel like I need any flour to this, okay? Um, I'm all right with that liquid. Yes, a lot of people like dirty rice. Okay. You're right, Erica. I'm all right with that liquid like that. So I am good with it. We're going to pull out the uh, bay leaves. We actually did a dirty rice uh, recipe on the episode where my mom went through how to make rice. Mm -hmm. So if anyone wants to or is interested in learning how to do dirty rice or see my mom's recipe, you can go back to that episode on Facebook. So you always pull out your bay leaves because uh, you, you can't eat them. So make sure. Erica I... says it looks delicious. Thank you. It smells good. Smells good. The house is smelling great. I think I, I got them all. Yeah, so the bay leaves is to add flavor, but as my mom says, you can't You, you can't, can't chew it. them. Yeah. Can't digest them. So you want to always pull them out. Especially when you're doing something that's a little, a little refined. Um, and uh, another thing I'm going to do, and this came up because I received this question. So I'm rice. going to do a small little video. Yes, yes. A small <laughs> little video on uh so see the rice is fine. Mm -hmm. It's not sticky and gooey. I'm gonna do a small little video on using the ninja. You know, yes, you see me chop a lot and chop a lot, but you know, that Ninja works great, and the thing is, it's small, and it's convenient, and you pulse it, because I got a uh, a question about that, so I want you to, I'm going to do a tutorial, okay? Mom, how many bay leaves did you put in there? About three. Okay. Not too many, and one, and some were a little broken up. Okay. Oh, I could use this. This would be perfect. Good morning, those of you just joining us. We're getting ready to plate our special Valentine's meal. It is a fried lobster tail with crawfish etouffee over white rice. So, I used my measuring cup. So, this is how you 
start to eat with your eyes because it needs to look good, right? So instead of my mom just plopping down the rice because she's Delilah and it has to look a certain way, she took that measuring cup. So she's starting to build her plate. Come on this side. Google Flights. <laughs> Denise says she's checking Google Flights to get here. Denise Briggs. This is Denise Anderson. Hello, Mabel. Hello, everyone coming in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're finishing up plating. That crawfish etouffee with that right white rice. And we know, so we on the rice episode, we talked about all of the different cultures that use and love rice as a staple. Hey, Missy. And it's... That's yes, nice. presentation is everything. Everything. I think it helps the food to taste better, quite honestly. Will the seared fish be incorporated into the dish in place of the crawfish? Okay, so if you... No, the seared fish is laid. So just the way I'm going to lay the lobster tail, the seared fish is laid on top. Right, but if you don't eat crawfish, like if you don't do the shellfish, oh. what could they do? Here's what it looks like so far. Then that lobster tail is going to go on top. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome, welcome. That changes the whole dish, actually. But you could do some type of um, sauce. You with can just do the a rice. sauce, almost like a gravy, but not a traditional. A Maybe a dirty or red rice. Mm -hmm. A red rice. A red rice, I think, would be nice. A welcome red in, rice. everyone. Welcome, welcome. A red rice. It's looking and smelling good so far. And now that lobster tail is getting ready to come. So that's white rice with crawfish etouffee. I eat well, but never had crawfish. Oh, you should try them. There's a suggestion for vegan shrimp. And so within that etouffee, it is what's known as the Holy Trinity, which is peppers, onion, onion and celery. Yep. So I'm taking my skewers out, which kept my lobster tail intact. Yeah, because yep, you don't want to eat that. Okay. So this is how, you know, when the lobster is all curled up. So this prevents that from happening. Yeah. Okay. Do I have the time? Because I could. You want to put something? I know you want to do that. Go ahead. <laughs> I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> See? <laughs> I want to garnish. I want to garnish besides this. I'm yes, gonna, Missy. <laughs> I, I'm going to make a little, a little bit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get this real fast. So mm -hmm. I knew my mom was going to do something. <laughs> Because for her, that plate was looking a little too just brown, like uh -huh. monotone. Right. I got So I knew you. she was going to add something in. I okay. Got so I have a little small batch. Oh, yeah. Num Num Product sauce. that I love. We love Num Num sauce. It's kind of like. We mentioned that before. I'm going to do Country a little. Boys mustard. A little ramelade on top just to. This is sold in Whole Foods. Yeah. I'm gonna put so tap, she's making a little homemade ramelade. Tap that a little bit with Merle and spice that up a little bit. Merle and seasoning. So we've used Merle and seasoning in the uh, etouffee. In the uh, so if you're looking to purchase Merlins, you can um, go on our marketplace, Delilah's Dash Everyday Dash Soul dot my Shopify dot com. And I could have also. Put this if time were have permitted me to put it. So this would give you just another layer of flavor. I could have also put this in a squirt bottle and taken it across my plate. Um, just in streaming it across your plate. That's another thing could have been done with it. But just time wise. I don't want to hold them. That's better for me. <laughs> All right, it does look delicious. Okay, so that's 
better for me. She add mayo. So what did you put in that sauce real so, quickly, Mom? Because she did. You yes. See how she did that right uh, on the fly. <laughs> a vegan, a vegan mayo, a vegan mayo seasoning, num num sauce. sauce, and just whip that, whip that, uh, just to get some flavor going in there. So for my little treat. Not a made product. And after a meal like that, to me, you don't need a big old heavy dessert because that is a big old heavy meal right there. I would just simply have something. You know, I'm not the big dessert person, so let's talk about that. But just picking up, you know, little heart-shaped wafers or a little chocolate, you know, little special chocolates, you know. Not not nothing big old honky or crazy, but just a little something on the plate. So those are just wafer. They're just cookie wafers, a, yeah. Shape of a heart. They have a little caramel coating on them. And little specialty chocolates. So to me, this is dessert. Dessert right there. I know. I need to go grab Ingrid. You made you reminded me to go grab a king cake. Uh, oh my God. Yeah. That's definitely New Orleans. Yeah. So this would be the holiday or Valentine Day, I should say, not holiday. The Valentine Day treat. So thank you everyone for tuning in. Yeah, is like a lobster crabby. I don't know. How would you describe the taste of crawfish? Crawfish are little, to me, little shrimpy tails. Little tiny yeah. weeny shrimpy tails. Yeah. So here is the finished product right here. So, we have the fried lobster tail with crawfish etouffee over white rice. And then my mom made a little homemade uh, roumelade sauce. Yes, beignets. And then just took some wafer um no heart cookies. shaped cookies and some great chocolate. You know, something that now you're just having your cocktail and you can just nibble on a cookie or nibble some red wine and chocolate. You know, red wine and chocolate is a, like an aphrodisiac. So that's the meal to me. It doesn't need anything else. It's right. plated nicely. I think it looks nicely and absolutely it's going to be delicious to eat. All right, so thank you all for joining us this Saturday, as usual, our Facebook family. And thank you all of our new viewers that have come over from YouTube. Yes. And I hope you've enjoyed it. We welcome you. I welcome you. Hey, Bobby. And I look forward to seeing you. Hey, Bobby. And join us on Tuesdays at 7 p.m. where we chat. We just chat. Here on Facebook. About everything. About everything. A lot about small business startup. Yes. A lot about small business startup and support. And especially if you are like a uh, handcraft batch business, we talk about that a lot. We do, a lot. How, how do you get that going? Thank you, all of our people How that have joined us from product? Country Style. Welcome over to Delilah's <laughs> Everyday Soul. And so. for our regular Facebook family, if you haven't been over to our YouTube channel, go ahead over and subscribe. And we have our marketplace. <laughs> yes. So see you all on Tuesday. Okay. All right. Thank Happy you. Valentine's Day. Enjoy your weekend.